You know the best way to learn about another country? Well, it's to travel to that other country. And recently, a group of kids from England visited a school right here in Polk County. The group of kids played basketball, and they wanted to get a feel for what it's really like to be a student athlete in America. So they came to Ridge Community High. <laughs> The kids definitely got game at Ridge Community High. They practice every day, and their gym looks like others in America. In England, where soccer and football are king, though, basketball takes a back seat. My guys, we're only able to train maybe once or, or twice in a week. That's because there are so many other sports that have to use the same facility. Corey Gaines grew up in Georgia, but now he's the basketball coach at Bower Park public secondary school where kids wear a coat and tie and straight A's are expected. Pushing yourself to get them grades is important. And if you don't have the grades, what does that mean? You, you have to redo a year or you, or you not, what, whatever you want to do, you won't, you won't be able to do. You have to choose something else. For about a week, Femi and his team, including their manager Charlotte, followed an American student. Their head teacher, Mary Morrison, is pretty familiar with Polk County, and she got the idea after talking with Principal Sherry Wells. I heard that the schools were big, but uh, this, is, this is huge. I didn't think it would be this big. They have like a more, a more of a friendly, <clears throat> friendly way towards the teachers than we have. They got the facilities, it's much better. The students they've been shadowing have their own thoughts about England. I think it's harder in England. Um, I think they should have opportunities for girls also, not just for boys. Key Ontaria Brown points out her number in the yearbook. In the U.S., it's easy for girls to play. If she was at Bower Park, she wouldn't be given the chance. There's flaws in both sides, but both sides could definitely learn from each other. Learning is what this trip is all about. And when the group headed off campus to a magic game, the students got to experience pro sports in America. It was surprising. I didn't, it doesn't look that big on TV, but when you're there, it's really big. Towards the end of the week, the Americans wanted to head overseas. For many of them, it would be their first trip on a plane. I ain't never been on a plane before. The kids from London, they, they generally go more to Europe and they go experience different things. Whereas our kids, you know, 80% of them never left the state that they're born in. I want to go meet the Queen. And in the future, Coach Gaines hopes to host a group from Davenport. Until that happens, though, he says this trip has given his team more confidence on the court. To see these kids embrace the London kids is something that I feel like is the best part of the entire trip. And Coach Gaines says he believes sports other than soccer will become more popular in England after the 2012 Olympics in London. In the next few years, Ridge Community plans to send a group of students overseas. Okay, Skechers Shape Ups were designed to tone your